Hello, hello. My name is Craig. Getting set up for this Qigong practice, which will start in a few minutes, exactly at 6 p.m. I'll be your facilitator for tonight, or whenever you're watching this video, you could be catching a replay. But at the moment, it is 5.57 p.m. It is Tuesday, September 21st, the day before the first day of autumn, fall, and the day after a full moon. So for those who are new to this practice or wondering what's going to happen tonight, I'll give a little bit more detail in a couple minutes when we start at 6 p.m., but this is a Qigong practice, Qigong originates from China. It is a energy practice, moving meditation, a way to connect with ourselves, connect with the present moment, and take care of ourselves. So for this practice, we'll be, in, we'll be engaging in gentle, slow movements that sync the body with the breath. We'll also do some tapping and stretching. And that will, that will be most of the practice. Even though this is an hour practice, this is your practice. You don't have to do the entire hour. You can take breaks. You can do what feels good for you. So I'll begin the practice in two and a half minutes. And let me do one thing. Change this lighting. Close that window. And we'll begin in a few moments. All right. So we'll begin in two minutes. If you're wondering what you can wear for Qigong, just whatever feels comfortable, whatever is light and loose. I'll be doing this Qigong practice as a standing practice, but you can do it seated or even laying down. Most of the movements should be able to transfer or be altered for those positions. The key thing is for you to honor yourself, honor your knees, honor your own body, and take care of yourself. And thanks again for anyone who is checking this video out. Always much appreciated. And today I'll do, I'll do a movement that honors the full moon that we just had yesterday, September 20th. And for the changing of the seasons from summer to fall, I'll do a movement to honor that. Qigong is inspired by nature. So those movements will show up in this practice. I'll give it just another minute, then I will begin this practice. All right, it is 6 p.m. I'm gonna start this practice. I'll do that introduction again. My name is Craig. I'll be your Qigong facilitator for tonight or really whenever you're catching this video. Qigong is an energy practice that originates from China. It's spelled Q-I-G-O-N-G. So the Qi means energy, the gong means to work with, to cultivate, to practice. So we'll be working with our energy. And we'll be working with our energy by doing gentle movements, movements that can connect with the body and the breath, movements that connect with tapping and taking the time to bring awareness to the present moment. 
So for this practice, I'll give a breakdown for this practice. This will be an hour long practice. And for the first five to seven minutes, we'll be aligning the three treasures. The three treasures are body, breath, and mind. We do the alignment of the three treasures to get the most out of the Qigong practice. And it just gives us a way to like ground and orient into the present moment. Then we'll transition to the five introductory movements. These are standard of class cross valley Qigong practices. And then for the second half of class, about the in the 30 minute mark, we'll move into tapping, stretching, and then flowing movements that honor the moon, changing of seasons, and different experiences uh, that we see through nature. And then we'll close the practice. So that's the class I have for you today. As always, this is your class. All you need to modify the movements, you don't have to go at my pace. Even though I'll be standing, this practice can be done seated or even laying down. Key thing is to take this time to honor and listen to yourself. Qigong is a great practice to shift your state, listen to yourself, bring yourself to the present moment. So let us begin. We're going to start off with aligning the three treasures, body, breath, and mind. And we're just going to start off by just checking in with ourselves and our environment. So just take a look around or just bring your attention to what is happening around you. Make sure you have enough space for yourself so you can bring the hands out to the side, up overhead, out in front, behind. You can check in with your feet connected to the ground and noticing how that feels. And you can take a look around, looking up, Looking down, bring your head back to center, and looking to your left, looking to your right, just noticing how that orienting feels. Making sure you have enough space for yourself, enough space to move, to feel comfortable, but noticing how it feels to look around and check your surroundings, check your environment, noticing how that feels for you. And we'll continue to move through aligning the three treasures and we'll continue aligning the body. So let's check back in with the feet connected to the ground and the feet can be shoulder width apart or whatever feels comfortable for you and see if you have the weight distributed evenly between both feet and if you are able noticing the heels and the toes connected to the ground noticing how that feels. And let's continue through the rest of the body. Checking with the knees. Knees can be soft. So if you like, you can lock and gently unlock your knees, slight like bend in your knees. Let's check in with the pelvis. So the pubic bone is tilted up and the tailbone is tucked underneath. So that levels the pelvic bone. Let's check in with the chest. Chest is open. Let's check in with the arms. Arms are just loose and hanging down by the side. Slight bend in the elbows. Fingers can be spread apart. Palms can be facing towards the body. Noticing how that feels for you. And let's take an opportunity to check in with the neck and the shoulders. We can do exercises to release tension in this area. So if you'd like, you can follow along or just do whatever feels good for you for the neck and the shoulders. I'm gonna do a couple of shoulder rolls. So just rolling the shoulders backwards to the top. Then you reverse the movement, rolling the shoulders forward three times. And I'll do some exercises for the neck. So you can look over to your left. Then look over to your right. Bring the head back to center. Gaze upward. Look downward, bring the head back to center. I'll take some time to just do some just neck rotations. So you can allow the chin just drop to the chest or whatever feels comfortable. And just make circles with the nose. 
So I'm going to start going towards the left, start going to the right, and just be gentle and kind of the neck. You can do two rotations in one direction. Then reversing the movement, two rotations in the other direction. When you're all set, just bring the head back over the spine, noticing how you feel. Let's finish aligning the body. Let's check in with the head. Let's just imagine there's a string that comes down from the sky, the ceiling, connects to the top of your head, the crown, the by waypoint, and it pulls you up. So you're upright, but you're just hanging, you're loose. And let's just check in with the brow and the jaw. See if you feel any tension, tightness there. See if you can release that or soften that. Bring awareness to that. You can unhinge the jaw if that feels good for you. You can check in with the eyes. Eyes can be soft, soft gaze. You can check in with the mouth. Mouth can be in the form of a smile. If that feels good for you. That releases endorphins, good chemicals in the body. You can have the tongue connected to the roof of the mouth. If that feels good for you. And that's it for aligning the body. Let's move into aligning the breath. In this Qigong practice, we do what is known as Dantian breathing, also known as belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing. It's a-okay to do natural breathing, but I'll still do a quick demonstration of Dantian breathing. And Dantian refers to the energy reservoir uh, just below the belly button in front of the spine. So to demonstrate, I'm just going to bring the right hand to the lower abdomen. So when you inhale, as you take in a deep breath, as the lungs fill with air, the abdomen expands. Then as you exhale, the abdomen softens as the lungs empty of air. Let's do that one more time. As you inhale, deep breath, air goes down, the abdomen expands. As you exhale, Lungs empty, abdomen softens, navel moves closer towards the spine. Again, that is Dantian breathing. The key thing is breathing in a way that feels comfortable and right for you. Lastly, we're going to align the mind. So let's just take a moment to just noticing what we're thinking right now, where our awareness is right now. Let's set an intention to bring our mind and our attention to the present moment. And there's different ways that we can anchor into the present moment. You can check in with your external environment. And that includes the visual, what you see, what you're hearing. This could be my voice, uh, what you're sensing through touch or even tasting or smelling. That's a way to connect with your external environment and that will bring you to the present. Or you can check in with your internal environment if that's available to you. So that could be your heartbeat, your breath, or if you're able to do it, sensations and energy. So let's set intention to engage in this practice and come back to the present moment. When we're in the present moment, we have our most power and the most agency that we can have. We can't change the future or the past, but when we're in the now, we have the most power. All right, now that we've aligned the three treasures, let's move into this class. Let's start out with some moving. We're gonna do full body breathing. So with our arms just hanging down by our sides, we're gonna inhale, draw the hands up towards the sky. We're gonna exhale, extend the hands out towards the side, allow them to flow down. And we're gonna restart the movement. So inhale the hands up in front of the body, Towards the sky. Exhale the hands out and down by the side. Going to own pace and speed. So inhale hands up. Exhale hands out and down. Let's do this two more times in this direction. Now 
and we're going to reverse the movement. So we're now going to inhale the hands up by the sides. So inhale the hands up and out by the sides. Then we're going to exhale the hands down in front of the body. Noticing how that change, that transition feels for you. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Do this a few more times at your own base. This will be my last repetition on my end. Last repetition of this movement. So as I'm allowing the hands to float down in front of the body, I'm now gonna bring the hands to the front of the lower abdomen, lower dantian. So hands are gonna be in front of the lower abdomen. Palms are gonna be facing up. Fingers pointing towards each other, a little space in between. We're going to transition to the next movement, but just noticing how you feel right now. Noticing what you sense. And let's begin the next movement. So we're going to inhale the hands up in front of the torso. When the hands make it to the heart height, turn. Hands over, palms face down. Exhale, allow the hands to flow down. And we're going to restart the movement. Turn the hands, palms face up. Inhale, draw the hands up. Flip the hands over, palms face down, exhale. Allow the hands to flow down. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Do you sense? What are you noticing? Do you have the type of person who experiences visualizations? What is coming to your mind's eye? Let's do this three more times and we'll transition to the next movement. This will be my final repetition of this movement. Allow the hands to flow down. And now we're going to transition to the next movement. So flip the palms back up. Inhale, draw the hands back to the heart height. Now what we're going to do is imagine that we're holding a ball in our hands. We're going to bring the fingers so they're pointed up towards the sky. Palms are still facing each other. Imagine that you're holding a ball. Noticing how that feels, noticing what you sense. Let's completely transition to the next movement. Let's extend the hands out, slight bend the elbows. Hands are in front of the chest. We're going to begin the heart opening movement. So we're going to inhale, allow the hands to open up and out. Then we're going to gaze upward. Then we're going to exhale. We're going to bring the hands close together, looking forward. Close together, not touching. So we start the movement, inhale, open the hands out and apart. Feel the stretch in this chest. Exhale. Look forward. Bring the hands close together, but not touching.
Noticing how this feels for you, making any modifications, altering the movement for yourself, your comfort. Do this for two more times, two more repetitions. Touching on my head. We'll bring the hands back close together. Hands are still extended out in front of the chest. We're just going to transition to just noticing what we feel between our hands. No worries, you don't feel anything. We're going to just play with this ball. Whatever, again, comes to your mind, whatever you would like to experience. And you can play with the ball in any way that feels comfortable for you. You can imagine that you can rotate it to notice what you feel. You can imagine that you could expand it. And just move it however you like. Taking this moment to just be, to move in a way that you want to move. But in a moment, we'll just return to our starting position. So bring the hands back where we started. Hands are extended. Strike down the elbows. And now we're going to transition to the next movement. We're going to turn the palms. So they're facing towards the chest, fingers are pointing towards each other. We're going to inhale, draw in. Now we're going to exhale, have the hands trace over the torso, down the body. And we're going to swivel the palms around, transition to this next movement. We're now going to inhale the hands up to shoulder height. Stiffening the hands, turning the palms to the face down. Exhale, allow the hands to flow down. Restarting the movement. Inhale. Draw the hands up. Flip palms over. Exhale. Hands slow down. We can let the arms flow past the body. Extend and exhale. So this particular movement, flowing motion, has many variations. If you'd like, you can stick with this current style of movement. Or you could try out the variations. Whatever feels good for you. I'll transition to the variation where we shift the weight on the bottom of the feet. So next time you find yourself inhaling your hands up, shift the weight while your feet are planted on the ground, forward, and as the hands turn over and the palms face down, forward, shift the weight to the heels. So inhale, shift the weight to the front of the feet. Exhale, shifting the weight to the back of each foot. Noticing how that feels. Could feel like you're giving yourself a foot massage on each foot. If you want to make this a balanced practice, I'll step back so you can see my feet. As you're lowering the hands and shifting the weight to the heels, you can lift the toes. And when you're lifting the hands up, you can lift up the heels as the weight moves into the front of the foot. So inhale, rise up, lift 
inhale, exhale, shift the weight into the heels, lift up the toes. Again, this is all optional. You're noticing what you feel, noticing where your awareness is. The saying, the saying goes. She floats where the mind goes. We're going to transition to another variation. So next time you find yourself bringing your hands up, we're going to bring in the feet together. So bring the left foot to the right foot. Exhale. Set the feet apart. We're going to do the reverse. Inhale, bring the right foot to the left foot. Exhale, set the feet apart. And this particular movement has a variation. So it's a variation within a variation. Actually, has a lot of variations. As you're doing the stepping apart, you can sink. As you bring the feet together, you can rise back up. Just noticing how that feels. Or if you'd like to make this a balance practice, you can keep most of the weight under one foot. The other foot can be posting, or also known as the empty foot. If you'd like more of a challenge, you can balance just on one leg. Again, these are variations, they're all optional. few more repetitions. Whatever style feels good for you. So I'm going to do two more side by side movement repetitions. And then I'll just return to the initial movement. Keeping both feet planted, inhale hands up to shoulder height. Turning the hands over, palms facing down, allowing the hands to flow down. Let's do three more repetitions of that. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, allowing the hands to flow down. Two more times. And this will be my last repetition. So we're going to transition to shaking, also known as shake the tree or cooking the tree. And start off lightly. Let's just start off with shaking the hands. And you can keep it, keep the shaking just in the hands if you'd like. Or you can just let it, to, you know, let it move into the rest of your body that feels comfortable and available to you. I'll do that. Let it go into the arms, then to my head, torso, hips, legs. I'm going to do this for a few minutes. Shaking is just a great practice. Without least stress, just to move. And it can show up in a variety of ways, whatever feels comfortable for you. Maybe you want to shake where you're just pumping your heels. Or maybe you want to jump up and down. That's available to you. Or maybe you just want to move from side to side. Or even lifting up one leg. 
or it can just be really light, really gentle. Whatever feels comfortable for you. One thing we like to do for this Valley Qigong practice is to incorporate the breath. And that is called blithering breath. Blithering breath and shaking go very well together. Blithering breath is where we release stress. Do the breath. We'll go through three blithering breaths. So when I say inhale, I'm taking a deep breath. On your exhale, well, whatever feels good could come out as a sigh, a yawn, any noise that feels comfortable for you, or any type of release. So let's begin. We'll do three, three blithering breaths. Start off with the first one. Inhale, taking a deep breath. Exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale. One more. Inhale. All right, we've been shaking for a while. We got a shaking sequence to finish off the practice. So let's bring our hands out, reaching out. See how that feels. Now let's bring the hands overhead, reach up towards the sky. Let's bring the hands out in front of the body, reaching forward. Let's bring the hands behind, reaching to the back. Let's bring the hands pointing down, connecting to the ground. Or if it's available to you, you can bend a little bit more, get close to the ground. And for the last 36 seconds of the practice, engage in whatever type of shaking feels good to you. It could be a dog riding its tail, it could be a high vibration shake. Or you can just begin to slow down. I'm going to slow it down on my end. You can just end that shaking practice. And if it's available to you, you can come to a pause. Or if that's not available to you, you can transition to rocking and swaying. That feels comfortable for you. But if you're able to come to a pause, see if you're able to connect with your environment, whether it's your senses or what you're connecting with internally. Are you able to connect with the sensations that have been building up since you've been shaking? Connect with energy? Is there anywhere, anywhere you want to bring your hands to connect with that? What feels good for you in this moment? So we're just taking this pause. I'll bring my hands to the heart, the lower abdomen, two dantians. We take this pause after shaking. This is an opportunity to be with ourselves. Taking a pause before we move into the second half of class. We'll do this for another 15 seconds. When you're all set, if you have hands on the body, you can just allow them to fall off. We're going to begin the second half of class. 
for a breakdown of the second half class. Here's what I have planned. A little bit of tapping. Some movements to warm the spine. This is a very, some stretching involved too. And pretty much the last 20 minutes of class will be flying movements to connect with the earth, the moon, the transition of the, the seasons. So that's what we have. Again, listen to yourself, honor yourself. This is your practice. So let's begin. Let's begin with a little tapping. So the way I like to tap, and I'll just do a shorter tapping practice, is tap the chest, tap down the shoulders and the arms, tap the legs, massage the abdomen, and tap, just gentle tapping of the head. That's the secret. So let's jump on into it. Also want to make the qualifier, if tapping is something you're just not comfortable with, good alternate approaches are massaging or tracing. So whatever areas I'm tapping, you can just trace or massage. This is your practice. So let's move into it. Let's make this happen. So I'm just going to start off making soft fists and just tapping the chest. side to side, up and down, noticing how it feels, and making sure the tapping serves you, and let's transition to tapping down the arms, we're going to extend out the right arm, bring the left hand to the shoulder, we're going to tap down the inner arm, Turn the palm over, tap up the outer arm. We do this two more times for a total of three times. And we're going to switch to the other side. So I'm going to extend the left hand out, palm facing up. I'm going to bring the right hand, just tapping. Up the chest, move that to the shoulder, the neck, and just tap down the inner arm with the left hand. Turn the palm over, tap up the other arm. Do this two more times, two or three times. All right, let's transition to tapping the legs. All right, so what we're gonna do, actually before we tap the legs, let's just bring our hands, palms, against our lower back, and just bring awareness and connecting with that area. And if you like, you can just massage that area, or you can tap, making soft fists. And what we're gonna do is starting from here, Tap down the back of the legs. Tapping the front of the feet. Tapping up the inner legs. And we're going to do this for a total of three times. So tap down the back of the legs. Tap up the inner legs. For a total of three times. And one other thing we'll do Make sure we have some balance. We're going to tap down the side of the legs and tap up the front of the legs. So just starting about waist hip height, just tap down the sides. Get to the front of the feet, tap up the front of the legs. Do this two more times. So I'm going to switch the sequence, I'm going to tap the head, and then we're going to massage the abdomen and the area. So I just want to give you a heads up. So you can just gently, you can just use your fingertips, just gently tap the head. Just bring attention, gentleness, tapping the head. If you find a pattern you like, maybe you're just going 
back to front. Just doing this slightly, the way that feels good for you. When you're all set, just allow your hands to flow down. And we'll bring one hand, palm facing on the abdomen, and another palm facing on top of the other hand. We're just going to make circles around the abdomen, connected to the dantian. And we'll do nine circles in one direction. More and then we can reverse the direction of the circles. One more. All right, let's transition to some. Movements to warm your spine. Let's do a couple of movements. We'll just do knocking on the door of life, also known as spinal twisting. We'll do some side bends and just stretch the spine. And we will do spinal cord breathing. Then we'll move to the rest of the practice. So with our arms, just hang down. If you can keep the feet flat on the floor, that feels comfortable. But we're going to begin turning on our spinal axis, just turning at the waist, allowing the hands to just flow. So the core is initiating this movement. And then if it's available to you, if you'd like, you can just allow the hands, the arms to tap the body, front arm taps the lower abdomen, back arm taps the lower back. Knocking on the door of life, also known as knocking the temple bell. Notice how that feels. We'll do this a couple more times. And you can just allow your hands to just release off the body. We'll still twist, but we'll slow it down. And we'll just return, facing forward, noticing how that feels. So exercise this great form of the spine. So let's do a couple of side bends. We'll just keep it simple. Usually I incorporate it into some other exercise, but we'll just go straight forward. So we can just, allow our hands just float up. We can allow the left hand to grab the right wrist. And the left hand will just pull. Left, feel the stretch, the right side, and we can return to center. And now the right hand will grab the left hand, pull towards the right side, feel the stretch to where it feels comfortable for you. Return to center. We'll just do one more stretch for each side if that feels comfortable for you. So you're gonna let about strain or pain. So again, take care of yourself, go at your own pace. When you're all set, just allow your hands just float down by the side. And we'll move into spinal cord breathing, the last of the spinal warm up exercises. So we'll allow the hands to just float up again, but they will extend out as if we're like a cactus. Um, we can allow the elbows to drop a little bit and the chest to open. You can even make a soft fist if that feels good. You're gonna uh, arch the upper back. And now we're going to round the upper back. Bring the forearms close together, tuck the chin in, tuck the tailbone in. If you're looking for a breathing pattern, as you inhale and open up, palms face out, open up the chest, slight arch in the upper back. Exhale, bring the arms close together, tuck the chin in, 
round tuck the tailbone. Let's do this a few more times around the pace, whatever feels good. Last repetition for me. And we can just allow the hands to slow down to that upright position. Arms loose and just noticing what you feel right now. We're going to move into some flowing movements. We're going to start off with Buddha holds up the earth. And Buddha holds up the earth is a movement that's connected to the metal element and the metal element is connected to autumn. The metal element is about releasing. So to perform or to practice really, Buddha holds up the earth. I've seen this movement through a lot of the holdings practices. We're gonna bring the hands in front of the lower dot down, the lower abdomen, palms are facing up, fingers point towards each other, a little space between. And we're going to inhale, draw the hands up from the chest. When the hands make it to about chest height, we're going to flip the hands. We're going to press up, gaze up. But we're not going to completely extend the arms. We're now going to reverse the movement, exhale. Allow the hands to be reversed. Flip the palms. Palms remain upright. Hands return to the lower abdomen area. So we're going to restart the movement. So we're going to inhale, flip the palm, press up, gaze up, exhale. Reverse the movement. Allow the hands to fall back down. Let's do this three more times. You know, I'll do one more repetition. Inhale, uh, draw the hands up in front of the body. Press up, exhale, hands flow back down. All right. That's our first flowing movement. Let's transition to our next movement which is pushing the immortal stone. So what we're going to do, we're going to just let the hands just flow down, noticing how that feels. You can even wriggle with fingers, just noticing what you set there. You can shrug, inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Exhale, let the hands, arms, shoulders drop. And let's transition to pushing the immortal stone. So to practice this movement, we're going to bring the right hand I'm facing up to about chest height, right side of the chest. We're going to bring the left hand, palm facing out. I'm actually going to get a little bit closer and turn. And we're going to start by extending the left hand, palm facing out. With a slight bend in the elbow, extend the hand up. And we're now going to switch, transition. This palm turns up, this palm, the right palm, fingers point up, and right now we're going to press the right hand as the left hand comes in. We're going to switch the position of the hands. Press the left hand out, right hand draws in. And I'm just going to keep alternating that. If you're looking for a breathing pattern, just inhale in one direction, exhale in the other. A 
imagine that the hand that's pressing forward is pushing a stone. Noticing how this feels. You can add additional movement to this. So as you're pressing one hand, as the hand that's coming in, you can turn the head to that hand. And as you press up, you can turn your head to the hand that's coming in. You can even look over your shoulder towards the hand that's coming in. If that feels good, if that's available to you. Do this for a few more repetitions. Let's do it two more for each hand. And this will be my last repetition. As the left hand presses out, the right hand comes in. And then I'll just draw the left hand in. Turn the palms facing down, just exhale a lot of hands to flow down. All right, we'll transition to another movement in just a moment. We're gonna do pebble across the pond. Pebble across the pond, like that, as a exercise to flow into. I like to do the one hand variation. I like that one. So what we're gonna do, we'll bring the hands to about waist height. They're on the side of your waist. Palms are facing up, fingers are pointing forward. And what we're going to do is we're going to inhale, draw the left hand over, palms facing over the right hand. And we're going to exhale, just circle the hand across back to the left side, turn the palm, and we're going to do the alternate. We're going to bring the right hand Palm face down over the left hand. Exhale, circle the palm in front of the body, bring it over to the right side. So imagine you're creating ripples with each hand. do this a few more times. Let's see how it feels. Imagine that your hand is creating ripples across the pond. So we'll do one more repetition for each hand. This will be the final repetition for the right hand. Final repetition for the left hand. And if our hands facing up, or palms facing up, we can flip the hands over and slide the hands just flow down. Noticing how that feels. Let's do a couple movements to honor the moon. Do like the holding the moon movement. So what we're going to do, we're going to imagine the moon like a ball that we can hold between our hands. So we're just going to draw the right hand about navel height, palm is facing up, and we're going to draw the left hand about height of the chest or underneath the collarbone. Or whatever feels good for you. So, but we're gonna imagine that we're holding a ball, but that ball is a moon. Be able to visualize that that's something you can connect with. That works. But just bring your attention to the here and now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna circle the hands. So we're gonna allow the left hand to rise up and around the right hand drops. And they're going to change position. So right hand comes up top, left hand comes underneath. And notice how that feels. And we're just going to continue to alternate between the two. We're going to add a little bit more movement if that's something you'd like. So 
holding the moon. Noticing what you feel between the two hands. So let's add some more movement. So as you bring the hands together, you can sink. That feels good. And as you're circling hands, you can rise up. Again, sink to whatever is comfortable. Maybe you want to take a rider stand, sink. Rise up. Sink. If you're looking for a breathing pattern, as you bring the hands close together in the center channel, as you exhale, inhale, circle around. Exhale. Pause, face towards each other. Let's do this two more times. Do it with the left hand on top. Now the right hand on top. And what we'll do, rise back up. Just allow the left hand to drop, the right hand to drop. And noticing how that feels. I'm going to transition to another moon exercise called not just holding the moon, but watching the moon. This comes from the 18 farms. There are a lot of ways to do this movement, but I'm just going to, I'll just offer just one variation um, and I'll keep it simple. It involves pivoting on the foot. But we're going to imagine that we're holding the moon by the lower abdomen, lower down to here. Palms facing up, fingers pointing towards them, a little space in between. What we're going to do, we're going to draw the hands up to the right side. You can pivot down the heel. Looking over your shoulder, holding the moon in your hands. And on the exhale, just draw the hands down back towards the center, to your core. And you're going to inhale, draw the hands up to your left side. Pivot on. And exhale. So the moon, if you have the moon in hand, if you inhale, you gaze up, look toward it in the sky, the sun is down, allow the hands to flow down, taking that energy. Inhale, hands up, allow them to flow up, exhale, allow them to flow down, back to the center. Inhale, exhale. Let's do this two more times, one more time on each side. So one more time on the right side. One more time on the left side. All right. We have a few more minutes before I was for the end of class, about four, four and a half minutes. Let's take some time to do a couple more exercises, a couple more flowing movements, ones that will help us settle and allow us to transition for the close of class. One flow I really like is bear swimming. And we can do that right now. You can follow along. So this is another exercise. Bring your hands right in front of the lower abdomen, palms facing up. We're gonna inhale the hands up to chest height. This time, fingers are gonna point out and exhale. Extend the hands outward. Now Turn at an angle, put the hands over, and allow the hands to just float out to the side, and exhale, allow them to float down by the side. And we restart this movement again.
Inhale, hand up to the heart. Fingers point out. Exhale, hands out. Flip the hands, palms face down. Inhale, hands out. Exhale, allow the hands to float down by the side. Let's do this a few more times. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands out. Hands move to the side. Allow the hands to float down. Let's do this two more times. Own pace and speed. All right, that was my final repetition of that movement. Noticing what you feel, noticing what you sense. We've got time for another movement and then centering, and then we'll close the practice. But just noticing what you feel, noticing what you sense. Checking in with your joints, noticing how your knees feel, shoulders feel, your elbows feel. See if you can have them just soft and loose. The bend in the elbow and the knees. So let's just do two couple gentle movements. We'll, we'll transition to just some simple Tai Chi opening, um, opening flow. And this is where we just inhale and allow the wrist to be drawn up to about shoulder height in front of the body. Exhale, allow the hands to flow down. Another inhale, kind of draw. And then exhale, allow the hands to flow down. Now turn the angle. You want to add a weight shift to this movement. You can do that. One way to do that is as you're exhaling, allow the hands to flow down. Shift the weight, shift your hips forward. As you inhale, hips shift back. Let's do this two more times. Then we'll transition to the centering. So what we'll do now is we're going to bring our hands, or bring one hand, the right hand, underneath the lower abdomen, the Dantian. And with the left hand, we're now going to, in a circular motion, inhale it. Over the head, with the fingers pointing upwards, we're now going to exhale, allow the hand to flow down the center channel. And the left hand will replace the right hand. Now the right hand will now be drawn up on an inhale, up overhead. And it also will draw downward in the center channel. We're going to do this one more time for each hand. This will be the last repetition with the right hand. Now we're going to transition to have both hands extend out, palms facing up. We're going to close this practice. We're going to inhale both hands up, overhead. Turn the palms towards ourselves. Shower as they flow down on the exhale. Let's 
So inhale, circle both hands up, gather around, turn the palms facing yourself, exhale, shower yourself with whatever you need from this practice, energy, support, compassion. We'll do this one more time. Inhale, gather. Turn the palms towards yourself. Exhale, draw down. Allow the hands to flow down and shower you with that goodness. And to completely close this practice, I just want to let you know I'm not being marrying you right now. So I'm just going to bring up my own right hand and you can bring up yours too. I'm going to make a soft fist. And this is going to represent young energy, energy of the day, energy of action. And I'm going to spin up the left hand, palm up facing up. This is going to represent your energy, energy of the night, relaxation, and they represent so much more. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring yin and yang together to lift. Cover the right hand in the center and take this opportunity to bow to yourself for engaging in this Qigong energy practice. Thanks for practicing with me. Always greatly appreciated. Always want to thank you for participating in this. Hopefully this has served you, supported you, and helped you on your journey in any way possible. Also want to thank Darren Drum, Toivo, Valley Qigong, and so many great people and teachers who have allowed me to share this practice. So thank you again. Till next time. Always want to actually let people know that there is a really great Saturday morning um, Qigong class through Zoom. Check TorvoCenter.org, check the calendar, Saturday, 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., great Qigong class, variety of teachers, really fantastic stuff. So thanks again. Thanks for checking this out. Until next time, wishing you well, and have a happy hour. Take care.